Okay, the steel bed of a suspension bridge is 200 meter long, okay, at 20 degrees Celsius. If the extremes of temperature to which it might expose are negative 30 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, how much will it contract and expand? Uh, given that the coefficient of linear expansion of steel alpha equal to 12 exponent negative 6 per degree Celsius. Okay, so what we have here, oh, let me change. Okay, um, uh, this is the initial length. We have the initial length, oops, sorry. Uh, this is the initial length, okay, uh, in SI unit meter, okay. Uh, 20 degrees Celsius. The steel is at 20 degrees Celsius. All right. If the extremes of temperature to which it exposed is uh, negative 30 to 40, how much will it contract and expand? Okay, given the coefficient of linear expansion uh, alpha, uh, 12 exponent negative 6 per degree Celsius. Okay, we have the alpha. So, um extremes of temperature it will expose ah you see so here there are two process there are two answer you need to get yeah uh the question asks for how much it contract and how much it expands so you see there are two parts of two parts of uh working here yeah? how much will it contract and how much it expands so this asks for delta l Ah, uh, this one asks for delta L. So, uh, for contract, of course, we know is uh, getting coding, yeah, is uh, coding up, yeah, uh, coding down, low or lower the temperature, and this expand means when it is heating up. Ah, uh, so, uh, okay. Ah. Uh, so cold, we have cold, contract and expand. Uh, co contract is when coding down. Um, all right. So uh, to contract, yeah, that means you will. Uh, so what we need, we need to know what's the temperature changes. We need to know what's the temperature changes for co for coding down when it contract. That means uh, normal. Uh, this is this one should be the initial temperature. Uh, what I, first, I, first thing is. This one should always be the, be the initial temperature. And this one, 30 and 40, both of these are final temperature for both cases. Okay? Uh, this, both of these are the final temperature. Okay? It start with 20 uh, at room temperature. Uh, start at 20. And then uh, when colding down due to con uh, due colding down, uh, the, the rod will uh, contract okay coding down to negative 30 so uh, first of all 20 degrees celsius is initial yeah for both case uh, so when colding down holding down to negative 30 uh, coding down to negative 30 uh, the the rod will contract okay but when you heating up to um, Heating up to 40 degrees Celsius, uh, then the rod will expand. Okay, it's a bit. Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, all right. So remember, this is, so we must know this is the initial temperature for contraction. This is the initial temperature. And this one is the final temperature. Uh, so for heating up, uh, this one, the 20 is the initial and uh, 40 degrees Celsius is the final temperature. We need to know which one is initial and which one is final temperature. That's very important because, because why? We are going to use this formula, delta T. This delta T here, the change of temperature, always use the final temperature minus the initial temperature. Uh, and then for this uh, expansion and uh, compre uh, com uh, what? The uh, contraction, expansion and contraction, Okay, uh, it has a uh, heating up and cooling down. Uh, so the initial temperature not necessarily hot, uh, yeah, or not necessarily cold. 
it can have a uh, heating up or cooling down so uh, all right uh, that's that's it you must know which one is for cooling down the initial temperature must be higher final temperature must be lower for heating up the initial temperature need to be lower the final temperature need to be higher uh, because heating up okay ah uh, so okay we got it and we have the initial length uh, we have the alpha also so what we want to find is delta l so let's do for contraction delta l so how to find what's the formula for delta l uh, delta l is uh, alpha l not delta t uh, this one okay uh, change of length okay let's do it okay so uh, delta l for contraction uh, and then alpha l naught delta t uh, okay so the same goes to the expansion delta l equal to l l alpha l naught delta t okay so for this one uh, what's the alpha again yeah alpha is 12 exponent negative 6 okay let's substitute the value Okay, uh, L naught. What is the L naught? Uh, what is the L naught? L naught is two hundred meter. Okay, two hundred meter um, is already in SI unit. Uh, two hundred meter, and then uh, just want to uh, make this a little bit the side. Okay, so. Uh, this one remember always use the this change of temperature always uh, use the final minus initial okay uh, final minus the initial and then this change of temperature you can either put in uh, degree celsius or kelvin uh, both unit accepted because change of temperature uh, change of temperature of uh, one kelvin is equivalent to change of temperature of um, one degree Celsius. Yeah, the 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 increase of one Kelvin is the same as the increase of one degree Celsius, or the decrease in one Kelvin is equal to decrease of one degree Celsius. Okay, so this one you can maintain as degree Celsius. You don't need to change to to Kelvin. Okay. Uh, final minus initial temperature. So this is the final. Because colding down, colding to uh, lower temperature. So T final is um, negative 30. Oops. Uh, final negative 30. And then initial is 20. So we minus 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. So what's the delta L? Let's find out. Ah, uh, okay. So I got the answer is um, negative negative zero point one two uh, meter. Yeah. So what does it mean by the negative sign here? Ah. Uh, so the negative sign here it means contraction. Ah. Uh, this one it means what? It means contraction. Ah. Uh, yeah. It becomes shorter. Uh, contraction. This is the change in length. Ah. Uh, become become uh, shorter okay uh, become shorter negative uh, negative uh, this this is the answer is it correct 0 0.12 meter yeah how much it contract yeah that's correct yeah that's become shorter now how about it become expansion let's calculate also okay so uh, alpha 12 exponent uh, negative 6 and then the L naught initial length is 200 meter and then uh, what's the final temperature 40 uh, so final minus initial final uh, final minus initial okay let's calculate also okay so I got the answer is positive value uh, is positive value the answer is a uh, 0 0.048 meter ah what does it mean by this positive value 
uh, the change of length is positive. That means it becomes longer. Uh, it becomes longer. This is expansion. Uh, positive delta L. Positive delta L means expansion. Or we can say becomes longer. Uh, okay. Is the answer correct? Uh, 0 0.048. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So when con uh, coding down, uh, the delta L is negative. Contraction becomes shorter. Negative. When heating up, uh, the delta L is positive because of expansion becomes longer. Okay, becomes larger. Uh, this is actually a bit, uh, not uh, a bit. So never mind. Yeah, becomes larger, becomes longer. Okay, you must. Uh, the important thing is you must know which one is initial and which one is final temperature. Yeah. Okay, and if you got that, then it's okay. So that's all for this question. Okay, see you guys.